As the MTN Group, we're proud to be publishing the suite of reports for FY 2021. Our suite of reports unpack the progress we've made as a group and the work that still lies ahead as we remain focused on the purpose that powers all MTNers, which is that everybody deserves the benefits of a modern connected life. FY 2021 was a challenging year where lives and livelihoods were disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic and societies and businesses such as ours had to adapt. Through the challenges that we face, we also found new opportunities to better serve societies and ensure that we deliver what we've promised to all our stakeholders. We deepened our commitment to delivering leading digital solutions for supporting Africa's progress and facilitating digital and financial inclusion across our markets. Our suite of reports cover extensive detail on the progress and the work that lies ahead, as I mentioned earlier. The integrated report details the progress we have made with our Ambition 2025 strategy, the material matters we have faced as a group, the risk environment we face and the mitigation actions we have in place. It also covers the reports from the group board committees, covering the work done in the year past and the priorities for the year ahead. Our sustainability report showcases how MTN has taken deliberate steps to creating shared value for our stakeholders by placing ESG at the core of our strategy. We are taking important steps towards making a contribution towards climate change and targeting net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2040. We also highlight in the report the progress we're making around rural broadband access and driving diversity and inclusion in our workplaces. For the first time, we also cover gender pay gap uh, analysis across our business. We are fully committed to act on the gender pay issues that we have identified across our business, as well as increasing women in the senior ranks of our executives and the boards. Our tax reports provide details on the contributions we have made to the respective countries we operate in, adherence to OECD tax guidelines, as well as the value creation role we play across our markets, we take tax compliance as an important responsibility that we have as a group and have a zero tolerance to non-compliance. Our transparency report, which is our second edition of this report, we give insights and context into how we support and uphold digital human rights across the markets in which we operate. Building trust through transparency, the report provides insights and context to the complex issues and legal frameworks affecting and impacting digital human rights across the various entities. I trust that you'll find these reports useful as you read through them and get a better insight of the progress we've made and the work that lies ahead. We are driven by our belief that everybody deserves the benefits of a modern connected life. And I trust that this is evident in our suite of reports. Thank you.